Hey guys, so I don't know if you can see back there, but there's a little Sammy sleeping on his back on my bed. So I tried to like make my bed look nice um, before filming, but it didn't work out too well because Sammy's on the bed. I can't believe like I was pulling and stuff and he didn't jump off. So um, anyways, I thought I'd do something a little different today because it has been forever since I've talked about my skincare routine. And I feel like every now and then I get those questions and I do really like hearing about other people's skincare routines too and seeing what kind of products they use. And um, especially now that I'm using a lot more natural brands, um, I felt like I should um, talk about that again. So yeah, when it comes to like to makeup, um, you know, it's hard for me to switch into natural brands just because I feel like there's really not that much available right now. And let's be honest, I'm just too into like new lipsticks and you know, I love my Chanel and all this stuff. Like I just, I'm just not ready to commit to natural makeup just yet. And I feel like, you know, that's okay. Like we're all, you, you know, just do what you can. So, um, but with uh, skincare, I feel like it's a lot easier to transition because there's a lot more that's out there and there's a lot more that's good. So not everything I'm gonna show you is from a natural brand, but several things are. So this one is not, but um, this is something that I'm still using that I talk about all the time. And it's the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. This is what I use um, for, as a spot treatment. Um, I feel like when I feel a pimple coming in, if I put this on it, um, it stops the pimple from fully forming. So that's what it really does for me. As it, like when you already have one coming that's already there, I feel like it does kind of slow the process down a little bit. But if you're quick about it and get it before it is fully formed, you're golden. So um, in terms of cleansing, my favorite, um, I like to exfoliate pretty much every day. So I know some people don't recommend that, but I love it and that's what I do. So I use the Acura Brightening Facial Scrub. It's a really fun, like murky green, like swamp color and um, it's really gritty and fabulous and it smells nice and herbal and I just love this stuff. This tube is probably going to be finished soon and it's I think the second or third tube I've used of this. It's really good and I will always repurchase it. Um, for moisturizer, my favorite is also from Acure. Acure is one of my favorite skincare brands. I think that kind of goes without saying because I talk about them all the time, but um, they're just really good products and they're really affordable. So this is the Acure Day Cream. It smells like oranges. Mm, it smells like oranges, kind of like orange blossom. And um, it's very moisturizing, but doesn't make my skin feel oily. So that's what I really like about it. This is for normal to dry skin. And I feel like for the most part, my skin is normal. Um, I get a little oily in my T-zone, but I don't think that I'm like crazy oily. I like to embrace the oil more than anything. Um, and then, oh yeah, I also just started using this. So I thought I would mention it as well. This is the Acure Rose Hip Oil. And I've been using this as a serum. So I've just been really lightly applying it before I use my moisturizer because they say you can use it as a balancing facial serum, a body oil spot treatment for dark spots and hair serum. So this smells really nice as well. Um, and they also said something about that it likes to be kept chilled. So I've been keeping it in the refrigerator, which is why it kind of has that frosted glass look right now. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, oh, really quickly, um, I have try, been trying two new face masks. Generally, I feel like face masks are kind of a waste of money. They're definitely a splurge. I don't really find them to be necessary. Um, I really don't find that they usually have lasting effects on my skin, but they're just kind of a fun luxury item, really. So both of these are from Lush. This one is called Rosy Cheeks. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a clay type mask. It's very, you know, spackle-esque. It's very thick. Um, this is this, they say this is a rosy mask with plenty of cam calamine powder and rose clay to soothe skin. This definitely has a rosy scent. It's more to me, if you're familiar with Lush, it's more of a Turkish delight type scent than Rose Argan. Um, it's very like kind of granny rose, unfortunately. I wasn't super into that at first, but the guy who's working there kind of recommended it for me for what I was saying my skin type is. So I've tried that, I did like it, but I like this one better, which is what I thought I would like, and I was right, because I know myself. Um, this one is called Don't Look At Me. It is a cleanse, it um, 
cleansing lemon juice and scrubby ground rice will leave your skin with nothing to be shy about. So obviously this is kind of an exfoliating type mask. And it's very, it reminds me a lot of Ocean Salt, which is a product from Lush that I really like. It smells kind of <laughs> masculine and grassy and um, I like that. I feel like some people will hate how this smells, but I really liked using this too. It was really fun. Um, I definitely, I actually prefer that one over Rosy Cheeks, even though I feel like Rosy Cheeks would probably be the more popular one. So there's that. Um, in terms of makeup removal, um, simple cleansing wipes are still my all-time favorite. They just remove makeup the best. They don't irritate my eyes and um, they're quite moist and they're affordable. So I love those. Um, I still am a big fan of my Neutrogena Extra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads. These basically, they just look like this. They smell really nice and soothing and I use them mostly to remove the excess eye makeup after I take off my makeup because I feel like it never fully gets off the traditional way, which is to make up wipe. And also, you know, sometimes after you take a shower, you get a little, it's good for that. It's also really good for if I'm having like allergy symptoms and, you know, in the morning before I take a shower to just kind of go over my eyes. It's really soothing. So um, in terms of cleansing at night or like cleansing if I'm not going to take a shower, because I really only use the scrub if I um, take a shower. So, um, oh, I, I shouldn't say if I take a shower. I take a shower every day, but if I'm not going to wash my hair, I usually don't wash my face in the shower. This is a lot of information. <laughs> um, I like the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and I use this um, with a muslin cloth um, and water, obviously, but I, I haven't really been using it for that purpose lately just because I've been using it a lot to take off lipstick when I do lipstick swatches and things. So you can see there's like lipstick residue and I don't know, I feel weird about using it on my face, even though it's my own stuff. I don't know, but it's really awesome. I love it. I love the texture of it. It's really good. Um, I like using coconut oil too, but I didn't feel like bringing that out. And honestly, I like the Clinique better because you don't have to worry about consistencies and things like that. So it's one of those things. Um, I also like very much the Aster and Bay cleansing oil. This smells very like orangey and lovely, mm, like really like juicy orange um, and fruity. This is really nice. I wish I had a larger size of this. I might have to repurchase it. Um, I like the Rosewater Mist from Aster and Bay as well. Um, what I will say about this though is that I've been having some issues with the nozzle once I got like halfway down the bottle. Um, it doesn't spray prop like consistently. You can see there's like just like a lot of product in one area. I like kind of a nice even spray. So I like my Mac um, Fix Pl Plus, um, the rose one too, but I just feel like that one's probably not as good for my skin as this one is. So um, yeah, there's that. And then at night, I tend to prefer using an oil on my face at night. Um, just because it's more moisturizing. I feel like I always wake up with really soft skin when I do that. So um, the two that I like, um, the Andalou Naturals um, 1000 Roses Moroccan Beauty Oil for sensitive skin. Um, it's definitely quite fragranced, but I, I like the scent. It's not like, it's not too granny in my opinion. Um, but this is, it's a uh, yeah, I like this one. And then also I've been using the Acure Argan Oil, which this is so cute. I thought this was going to be like a little glass bottle. This is a little sample size, but it's a little squeezy tube and it just is very nice for applying. The only thing with this one is it kind of smells like diaper cream or something to me. It smells like Kalamata olives basically, which I mean, Argan Oil comes from olives. So it makes sense. It, um, does it come from olives? Ooh, I'm, I'm having a blonde moment right now. Anyways, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it tells me that it's a natural product, which is good, but some people might hate the smell. In terms of how it works, I think it's amazing. It's my favorite argan oil that I've tried so far. So very, very nice. Um, I really like that. I probably will get the full size. I will say that two things I feel like are missing from my skincare routine are some kind of, oh, also I wanted to say I don't have it with me to show you, but I really like the fresh sea berry oil as well. I've um, talked about that in videos before, but my bottle was empty and 
um, disposed of, so I don't have that to show you. I feel like I'm missing a retinol type product in my skincare routine because I feel like, you know, everyone says like that's an essential thing to have. So if you have recommendations for something like that for me to add, um, please leave it in the comments. Also, I mean, I have this to use. It's my Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus. I am so bad about using SPF, you guys. This is really nice too, but I am so bad about using it. You guys need to kick me in the butt and make me use my SPF more. I just am so bad about using sunscreen. Really bad. I mean, I'm very good about taking my makeup off. I'm good about, you know, other things, but I am not good at using SPF. So, um, that's my thing. But, oh, I was going to say one thing as a little like ending disclaimer that I think it's important to be honest about certain other things that might factor into your skin um, quality and consistency. And I have been taking birth control pills since I was like 18 or 19. Maybe I was even 20. I was young. It was before I was even sexually active, to be honest. But I started to go on it because um, my dermatologist recommended it for my skin at the time. I had a lot of issues with my skin when I was younger. And it cleared my skin up a lot. And I feel like uh, at one point I went off it for a couple months and my skin got really bad again. So I feel like it really helps to keep my hormones balanced. Um, you know, I will say that obviously something like that isn't for everyone. And um, people have different reactions to um, medicines of any kind. But for me, I'm a big fan of birth control. I've had no like adverse reactions to it whatsoever. I've been using it for a long time. My mom was a big fan of it as well. Um, and I just like that has worked really well for me. So, um, yeah, random, but I feel like, you know, it's, it's helpful to know these things cause it definitely does help with my skin. And I do still get like kind of hormonal breakouts, you know, around certain times and things. And I also tend to get breakouts like here, which I feel like is probably from my hair, but I don't know if you have any Intel about that to share. And I think I'm going to end this video on this note because um, it's really refreshing to not film a 20 minute video. <laughs> so I will hopefully have time to film a video again tomorrow for you as well. So let's get these things rolling. I'm so excited. It's getting to be fall type weather in Chicago and I'm loving it. So I have lots of things that I want to film, but um, I will talk to you guys soon. Sammy Jeremy! Sammy! He's too sleepy. Okay, well, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Bye!